My Patreon supporters got to see preview images, work in progress shots, and high resolution images of the finished product. If you wish to join them, all you need to do is donate even the smallest amount. Link is in the description below. Hello out there, this is Wake Angel 2001 bringing you the next part of Chaos Hog 17's commission, Heavy King of the Hard Boiled Heavies. But first, I've just completed the reward minifigure for AC Reinhardt. Since it's only a couple pictures, we can just stick it on to the beginning of this video. Uh, this is the last of the four flickies from Sonic 3D Blast, uh, the pink one, the girl. So, um, of course, this is a complete scratch build made out of uh, epoxy sculpt. And um, as you can see, her little pigtail feathers are made out of craft foam. I did this because I could get sharper points with craft foam than I can ever sculpt. Uh, so, once put together and painted up properly, we have a cute little pink flicky bird girl thing. Because, you know, flicky girls gotta have their little pigtails. So here's all four of them together. Aren't they the cutest little things? I almost forgot, I wanted to mention one more thing, I am extending these minifigures to all of my Patreon supporters, not just the monthly $10 donators now. Uh, so what happens is, if you donate a smaller amount, when your donations add up to $10, I'll give you a minifigure. So if you donate $5 a month, you'll get you'll get a minifigure every two months. Donate $2 a month, you'll get one every five months. You, you know, you guys can figure out the math from there. So uh, now all of my Patreon supporters will get minifigures such as this. And remember, they can be of any character you want within certain reasons. Um, so I've already sent messages out to all of my uh, current patrons, and hopefully this is incentive for the rest of you to get in on this, because you don't have to take the deep dive, you can still get minifigures even with smaller donations. Alright, so now let's get on to the real custom. Believe it or not, this started out as an egg pawn. Um, so this is going to be a real rags to riches story, isn't it? From pawn to king. Now this is the later release of the egg pawn that does not have articulated shoulders. So basically it's just a statue of the egg pawn. I didn't like that, so it must die. Uh, the first thing I did was repurpose its arms uh, from the shoulders to bicep for, you know, the legs. Uh, this would make the figure taller, of course, because Heavy King is significantly bigger than the rest of the hard-boiled heavies. Uh, so, uh, basically what I did was I cut the arm off at the elbow and then stuck it onto the leg by sculpting in a big ball for, you know, that the knee thing. Now, the thing that's making this hard-boiled heavy more special than any of the other hard-boiled heavies is superior arm articulation! Yes, I took this extra torso from a Mega Constructs figure, although it's old enough that it's probably still a Mega Blocks figure, and I cut the torso in half so that each of the shoulders could be stuck onto the uh, egg pawn's, you know, top. Um, then, uh, you know, there came the sculpting on. I covered everything in aluminum foil to give it a, a you know, because that's a lot lighter than making a solid epoxy sculpt. And then a quick veneer of epoxy around the foil to be the body. Uh, here you can see um, Heavy Magician is cameoing to show you guys just how big it is. Uh, so the arms themselves, I took the wrist joints. The wrist joints from the, uh, from the uh, Mega Bloks figure are actually serving as elbow swivels now. And I used a pair of broken Sonic legs to make the, uh, the forearms. Uh, the hands come from the bootleg Nendroid. So uh, this is a functional articulated figure, at least in the shoulders and, and elbows. Hey, that's that's like twice, that's like three times more points of articulation than the uh, any of the other hard-boiled heavies have, you know. So you know that that's an accomplishment. That meant moving on to uh, some more decorative bits. Um, this thing that goes on to Heavy King's chest. I'm going to call it his beard, because it's placed in kind of the same way that you would put a beard on something. And I kind of like the idea that he has a big kingly beard. It's made out of several layers of craft foam, so it has a good 3D look to it. And uh, once attached to the fully painted body, you're seeing something that looks a lot more like Heavy King now. Uh, the shoulder pads are also made out of uh, craft foam, because that stuff is sharper and easier to get into curved, pointy shapes than, um, than you know, sculpting anything is. Uh, so all that leaves is his head. Uh, now, I didn't really feel too confident in making a smooth dome just by sculpting it, so I co-opted a perfectly good dome that I had from... Um, 
This is like some kind of little slime accessory that came with a tube hero figure. You know, that guy with the, the slime sword. So, you know, it's a dome, which I cut into the shape of the helmet and then added that little Kabuto horn that uh, Heavy King's helmet has. Um, aside from the dome, the rest of the hel of his head is sculpted. You can see his eyes and what basically amounts to his chin down here. It's physically sculpted onto the body. So it's not like he's going to have any head articulation, it's just kind of stuck on there. Um, just uh, one more little thing is his cape. You see uh, this is the shape that I wrapped around the head to make the uh, heavy king, um, you know, the pointy parts of the cape that come up over your head. I don't know what you call that. And with that, I thought I had completed the heavy king figure. Uh, the rest of his cape is a dust chamois from a, a Nintendo Switch. A little bit of the Switch logo remained at the bottom of the cape, which I just decided to, co to color in. It's not too distractingly visible, but it shows up in the flash. I thought it was kind of funny because, uh, you know, he has like a video game logo on the thing. But you might be noticing something in this profile shot. I didn't notice it at first, but the longer I left it standing on my desk after finishing it, the more it became noticeable. The figure was leaning forward. Yes, it turns out that the soft plastic that Jazzwares had used to make the biceps of the uh, egg pawn figure wasn't up to the task of supporting his weight, and he was only going to keep gradually slumping forward further and further. So I had no choice but to sacrifice a little bit of his accuracy. I used epoxy sculpt to reinforce the thighs of the figure. Uh, so it looks a little bit thicker and, um, you know, like, I know I, I would have liked to have the spindly little legs because Heavy King is an egg robo and having spindly little legs is part of their gimmick. But I think Chaos Hawk 17 would appreciate a figure that would, that would stand and not collapse under its own weight. So it's a sacrifice I'm sure we're all willing to take. And with that... The Heavy King figure is complete, truly and well. As you can see now, he's capable of standing tall and straight. No need to worry about him slumping over here. And thanks to the big old feet imparted to him by the egg pawn, he's actually incredibly stable, so he's not going to be tipping over. Uh, so he, his arms are universally jointed at the shoulder. He has a swivel at the elbow and another swivel at the bottom of the elbow that amounts to a wrist swivel. So, um, seeing how that's on both arms, that's, uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's like eight points of articulation. Look at that. Aha, uh -huh, I'm awesome, aren't I? So yeah, hard to believe that this started out as an egg pawn, right? I took a fig, I took what was basically a statue and made it into an articulated figure that's twice as big. How awesome am I? Oh god, oh god, my head's getting bigger. It doesn't fit in the headphones anymore. This is Wake Games without someone signing off.